Sandoval County hosted a public event yesterday to learn about how they could improve the election process. I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if Otero County had one of these events? Well, I reached out to Amy Barella, who spoke with me on behalf of the Republican Party of Otero County. They have had many uh, events. We've done multiple challenger trainings. We've done Zoom trainings to the same one in Sandoval County. We've invited them to Las Cruces, did two of them. We took some volunteers over there. They're having the same trainer up there in Valencia County. We've given many resources. The Zoom training was probably the most attended training that we did. It was offered for two nights back to night, back Last week, um, a total of 70 Otero County people attended those trainings. What was beneficial about that is it went through the history of the elections in New Mexico and the results and why they happened and the mistakes that were made and what the challengers need to watch for. If I can find a recording of that, I will so we can be shared because that one was extremely valuable. And I'm so glad that we, that Otero County residents, I say highly attended, 70 is really good compared to normal, out of 30,000 people, you know, that's, that's not saying much. But it is what it is, and we're offering a lot. Um, we have a uh, hotline for voters and for the challengers to use. Uh, that telephone number is 505-532-3338. If you suspect any wrongdoing, if you are denied the right to vote, if you just have any questions about voting and the processes, please don't hesitate to reach out. That is RPNM. Anything else you want to add? We do have many challengers that have taken all of the trainings and have received their certificate from the Secretary of State. Luckily, uh, we will have volunteers starting tomorrow during the elections so that you can go out and vote and feel safe doing it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to one of the challengers while you're there.